Looks like ninth edition might be about to receive a major shake-up. Chapter Approved 2021 goes on pre-order this weekend. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're talking about the fairly major news that it looks like we've got a whole new chapter approved on the way for the game. As I'm sure most of you are aware, Chapter Approved is the book that Games Workshop updates each year. It's their chance to redress and rebalance points costs across every faction, and also to release and tweak missions, and try and fix any major complaints or gripes that the community has. On the whole, I thought they did this quite well throughout 8th edition, one new book each year that usually tended to drop around December time, with updated points costs, and genuine progress on making the missions better that went on throughout 8th edition 40k. The release of this one is somewhat of a surprise. They haven't given us any sort of roadmap for updates with 9th edition yet, perhaps because they've been playing it by ear a bit due to the virus restrictions. Whatever their overall plan is, it does seem that Chapter Approved 2021 is going to be coming, and it's going to go on pre-order this weekend, alongside a bunch of Age of Sigmar stuff. This means a new Grand Tournament mission pack, and a new Munitorum field manual where we get all the updated points. I think this one maybe feels a bit earlier than was expected to be honest. It is less than a year since the last one, that one came out slightly after 9th edition launched, and just due to all the lockdowns and things, I don't think that people as a whole have tended to be playing much Warhammer this year. So a lot of people might not have got all that many games in with the last chapter approved since it dropped. I'd guess though that perhaps going forward we might see releases around May-June time for these. Maybe that's going to be Games Workshop's rolling schedule in 9th edition. As usual, the bit that I'm most interested in will be the points costs, and I'm going to be interested in just how different they are compared with the January update that they did in early 2021. They shook up and rebalanced quite a few points in that one, most things going down a bit, a few things such as Space Marine Eradicators going up a bit. It's interesting that that document was labelled the 2021 update Mark 1, and if you look closely on the cover of these ones, it's labelled as the 2021 update Mark 2. I'm going to guess that this means it will be something different to the previous. Hopefully a few buffs wouldn't go amiss to some of the more struggling factions, armies like Tau and Gene Stealer Cult really could use a shot in the arm. I wouldn't be expecting to see the more recent codexes nerfed at all. I think armies like Death Guard and Drakari, while they are some of the strongest in the game right now, and certainly are sticking their neck out for some points bumps. I think that those codexes have been released too recently, so there won't have been any time to put any changes from those books into these ones. I'd be very very surprised if the last few codexes don't remain exactly as they are. In any case, I do always enjoy points cost updates. They do have the option to completely turn the game on its head if Games Workshop wants to go fairly strong with them, and it's always fun when old models that have been on the shelf for a long time suddenly get a new lease of life. Of course, the other half of the release is the Grand Tournament Mission Pack. I'm expecting this one just to be an updated version of the previous one, aimed for match play with a bit more of an organised and competitive setting. The secondaries tend to be a little bit more balanced compared with the ones in the main book, I think. They already made a few changes to the Grand Tournament missions in the January update, things like reducing the amount of points scored for killing vehicles, the change to While We Fight We Stand, and the endgame scoring change that it gives a bit more of an advantage to the player who went second, so I'd strongly expect all of those to be folded right in. I think they usually tend to put the appendix for things like these rare rules that they keep on adding in, and that shall be included in the book as well which I think is one of their ways of getting the most notable FAQs in print. Finally, we will of course have the missions themselves. In the brief preview text that Games Workshop put up, it says that there'll be 9 Incursion and 9 Strike Force missions. I'm not sure whether these will be completely new missions, or revamped and redesigned ones of the ones that are already in the 2020 pack. Small changes to the missions can also have a radical effect on how the game is played, and which factions might have a bit of a leg up on the others. Overall, I'm looking forward to seeing how 40k might be changing in the near future, and I'll certainly go over these books just as soon as I can once we have more news. So let me know what you think of the new chapter approved announcement, is it a bit soon, or could it be a good opportunity to help out a few struggling armies and factions? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to Auspets Tactics, I'll certainly try and keep abreast of Games Workshop's news and releases, particularly when it relates to the competitive game. I try and release 40k related content pretty much every day. Finally, if you have been enjoying regularly, I would just like to mention that the channel has a Patreon page, which is one way that you can help support and keep these videos coming if you've been watching a lot. Channel patrons do get a fair few advantages, such as seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry to the prize giveaways with the chance to win some really big model kits every month. 
If any of that sounds good to you, then feel free to have a look down in the video description below. But anyway, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.